By the way, where do you stand on the Sarah Jessica Parr uh, physical attraction level? Look, man, I think everyone's free. Do whatever you want. That's a disgusting, ugly bitch. Come on! I think she's smoking. The, the only time she was okay was in L.A. Story. So hot in L.A. Story. Only her youth. Her youth was the only thing got her, got her got up above a couple points. Unbelievable body. Thin. Not unbelievable body. She's got nice Selma cans. Hayek has an unbelievable body. All right. I love, I love her, too. But nice cans are just like okay cans. I think she's got some nice cans. Nah. Uh, she auditioned for Dirty Dancing, by the way. Yeah, so did a lot of ugly bitches who didn't uh, get it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm telling you, man, she's got an interesting face. She's hot. She's got a great body. She's got cool hair. She's fun. She's cool. I like ah, her. Ah, cool. We're not talking about that. We're not right. talking about that. I'm just saying. I you think know she's better hot. than to talk about that when you're rating someone. I'll give you that, okay. but I think she's hot. I think she's got a nice face. I know face. some people do, and I just don't get it. I think she's, I mean, Sex in the City, she's the She's the lead. She's the hot one. Uh, Jerry Seinfeld's the lead. He's not hot. Well, that's a dude. He's yeah, funny. She's true. not. Uh, the black hair girl was the hottest one. And she was posh spice. Too goody goody. Yeah. And then honestly, I mean, the redhead was disgusting. Oh, uh, yeah. That's yeah, a problem. everyone agrees on and that. And then the other one was hot because she was so hoary. Hoary, yeah. Which is hot, but. I like the the SJP. I think she's third on that show, and not even she, I wouldn't even if she was like coming on to me at a bar, I'd be like, eh, I gotta go. If you saw her in person in the '90s, I think you'd be like, this is an interesting, hot little lady here. Disagree. All right. I think I'd be like, I think I'd be, I, I, I would get in trouble for making fun of her for her looks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who who told this horse face she could join our convo? Now horse wait, face, yeah. Now, who's a gal that you like that you're kind of like, it's, it's a no one else pledge. did pledge. Yeah. PJ Harvey. PJ Harvey? Who the hell's that guy? Uh, <laughs> it's a woman. She's a singer. PJ Harvey? Oh, I got to call Pull her. her up. Pull her up. Give it a goog, Beck. Uh, oh, yeah, dude. She, her nose is massive. Oh, uh, I like a, see, I like a honker. You like a honker. I want to see this fucking pig you're about to pull up. <laughs> she was such PJ a good Harvey. singer and musician in, like, the 90s. Is Late it a 90s. Punk band? No. It's PJ Harvey's a like Polly Jean Harvey. She's a woman. Okay. But her nose was so fucking big. But she was so hot because of she did, yeah, do up in the cave. Here she is. This is a good fucking version of it. Oh, no. <laughs> what are you doing to me? She looks like a virus. She looks like Corona. That is rough, man. I mean, she, okay, she, she looks like the scream mask. 90s PJ Harvey. Here we go. 90s PJ Harvey. There we go. That's what they're talking about. Oh! <laughs> that was so hot to me. But I wow. know exactly what you're saying. She looks like Marilyn Manson. I mean, sort of, right? Yeah. I mean, I I can see she's got like the grungy 90s bullshit, but uh, I don't know, man. Yeah. I, I, I would I would go down on her, but I'm just saying. That's interesting. Everybody's got their, uh, their secret crush. I mean, she was talented. That's the thing. Her mm. talent made me Well, this. hey, now you're factoring other shit in. I know, I know. It's but not uh, cool. I thought, when I was a kid, I thought Tori Spelling was hot. And she looks like a fucking mule. It's weird, because when we were younger, you thought a lot of people were hot just because they were, like, on TV, right? Yeah. You see them now, looking back. Like, anyone in the in like early 80s, you're like, ew. Right, right. Vanna White? Oh, so hot. No. I mean, as a kid, you're right, like, right, 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 she's right. the only woman on the show. It's Pat Sajak, right. a wheel, and some uh, and soccer she had this mom. nice gown. But like, but, like, you look back now at the old ones, you're like, oh, she's just fine. She's not TV hot. Right, right. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's the episode. Thank you, Mark Norman, for coming in. Uh, let him know that you like the episode uh, on Twitter, at Mark Norm, with a K, or on Instagram, at Mark Normand. Please check out his podcast, Tuesday the Stories, that he does every Tuesday with Joe List. I'm telling you, it's one of the best comedy podcasts out there. I like Sarah Jessica Dickless over there. I think it's insane that there's a whole thing about her being ugly. You do? I think she's like a smoke show. Oh, man, simpatico. L.A. Story, I've beat off oh. to that movie more times than I've beat off to my Aunt Betty. Tell me about it. Your Aunt Betty is no <laughs> slouch. She's on, like, roller skates like Tubman, oh. and she's got, like, suspended. Your tits are huge. Huge. Naturals. Yeah, I watch Sex in the City every night before bed, and yeah. I got a nice heart on it. And- yeah, I don't even see the city. <laughs> it's hot, man. Yeah, she's, she's smoking.